So I'd like to talk to you today about historic pottery and what is historic pottery. Well, really, we use it as a timeline, and the timeline is when we talk about 1880 and before, because in 1880, the railroads on February 9th came into Santa Fe, the Atchison, Topeka came in. And so what's going on in 1880? You have Rutherford B. Hayes as president. You have Victorio being killed in Mexico, the great Apache leader. And you have in Wabash, Indiana, the first lights are coming on. So why is this important? Well, it's that time frame when we're really going to a little bit of a more of a modern society. And it affects the Pueblo pottery as well. Because with the advent of railroads, these kind of pots that were first made for trade and for self-use are now looked as something that we could sell and trade to the people that come on the railroad. So it really is this time frame of historic pottery where it's railroad versus not. Now the pieces that are earlier, these pieces that are 1880 and before, we really consider those to be true historic pots. When I say a true historic pot, they were made really for self-use and often these were very valuable pots. And the main pots you're going to see out in the marketplace, and quite frankly, the things that we sell primarily at our gallery are going to be those pieces that are, we call them historic, but really they're post-railroad, 1880s and before and after. So when you think about historic pottery, use the date 1880, and that's also a very good guideline for price structure. We need your support for the Medicine Man Gallery channel, so make sure to click the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video, which we do every morning on Wednesday and Friday. See you soon.